Hey there guys, this is Vinay from Mindset. Welcome to another episode of Swim Parts. Uh, okay, so um, I searched on the internet and found out that uh, the dead cause of death, the dead body that we are looking for is in the mortal, mortgage, whatever it is called, in the basement. That's so I'm going to go there and look for that and then, and then I'm going to deliver that letter to Gossip family and Let's go down straight ahead. One, two, three, four, five. I was here before, apparently I didn't. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Mm -hmm. 
It's locked. Well, uh, it went under the radar. I apparently will find it good. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? Is that what your pawnbrokers is really about? These people are dead, sir. What they possessed could be useful for the living. And I'm sure they would agree if they could speak. You should show respect for the dead. What about their loved ones who may treasure these items you sell? The bodies I watch over are the unwanted and undesired, sir. I would never deprive anyone of their family artifacts. Goodbye, Mr. Chid. It's locked, all right. Tomorrow, more bodies will arrive and then sadly depart. I'm managing a trade tunnel. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Doc. I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium, sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. It's dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. I want to know about these secret tests you run. Okay. And if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. 
I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of... But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. You have my support, Dr. Strickland. I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease, with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps... An adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Good evening, Doctor. And good evening to you. Goodbye. Yeah. I'm quite busy. Do you think Dr. Strickland has... His wish to cure the sick is not driven by pride, but by an idea... You consider him a good practitioner, yet you will not report his methods. Strickland may be a rival, but I will not use dirty tricks or regulations to prove him wrong. We are doctors, not politicians. Okay. And very good. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Good evening. Oh, sweet girl. Don't take me like a book. I'll never believe it again. Oh. This hospital seems to be but in the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. I'm okay. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but me. Thank you. <laughs> this is for you, then. For your help. And for your... I think you should talk to your mother. Thank you. <clears throat> I've read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair, while the world crumbles around. There's nothing more to say, really. Don't you see how lucky you are? You're rich, you're in good health, and you have a loving mother. You're simply drowning in self-pity. Leave me alone then, Doctor, and let me drown myself. I have to go now. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, Doc. Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivation. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place. What do you think he meant by making the war? Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. It's... Why did your son feel so useless when... I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy facet. I have read your son's suicide note. It... He threatened to kill himself a few times before. But I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life. But I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. Do you realize your son could try to kill himself again? He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. You're right. I can't give up on him. I just can't. I... Goodbye, Mrs.
Good evening, Dr. Tibbs. Dr. Reed, any... Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a two-fold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed the body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it. And it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. I bid you for did. I know his mistake. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. Okay. Goodbye, Nurse. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbets, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. will you do after I always fancied visiting Cyprus such a beautiful island I could buy a house there by the sea read poetry okay. 
Goodbye, Doctor. Good evening. Nicole. Good evening, Doc. Goodbye, nurse. It's locked, all right. I cannot enter. The flower's dying. It needs water. Strickland's project could be dangerous. I have a mind to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. Good evening, and good evening. I have managed to improve the mixture by diluting it. Have you ever heard of Sir Joseph Francis Olive? Or the placebo effect? No, I don't think so. Why? A placebo is a substance or procedure that has no actual physical effect. You made a placebo of my project. Why? Research has established that a placebo, as long as the subject believes in the effect, can provoke a positive physiological reaction. Oh, really? That's fascinating. Something like that, yes. Well, I'm a bit surprised, but I trust you, Dr. Reed. Please take the key to my cabinet and put this placebo there for future use. Did you know Dr. Ackroyd never reported your experimental research? Despite the fact he doesn't agree with it. Really? I didn't suspect he knew about my work. I must confess I am surprised. Perhaps he thinks you should realize for yourself the danger of what you're doing. See how condescending he can be? My god, he can be so irritating. Uh -huh. Goodbye.
It's locked. At least Strickland can't kill anyone with this formula. It's locked, all right. It's locked. Okay, so let's get this fancy. Build all from building. Build it. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. Mm. This is very interesting. Okay. Did you find something else? Hello, Corona, where we are discussing our Spanish flu. Okay, I didn't... Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? 
Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. But the risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation. I know, but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties. With our minds and your blood, there's nothing we couldn't cure. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to... Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister. She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. I need to talk to you. Please do. So you manage a hospital financed? Yes. Pembroke was founded by Lady Ashbury. If I may inquire... Well, Jonathan, she sought me out and offered me the position. It's been a very profitable partnership for both parties. A convenient yet expensive way to have a fresh supply of blood on hand, day and night, don't you think? All vampires drink blood by nature. Me, I praise the lady's exemplary moral fiber. Okay, Do you know anything about the vampire hunters in the East End? Without a doubt, it's the guard of Prewen, zealots to the last man. They're definitely well organized. They're extremely dangerous, not to be trifled with. To them, you're a feral beast, and I, your accomplice. Where did they come from? Once they shared the Brotherhood's ideology. Nurse Crane will not be returning to Pembroke Hospital. Oh, really? Did something happen? She seems such a very capable woman. She was blackmailing Lady Ashbury. Thought she was murdering patients as some sick upper-class game. Nurse Crane was playing a dangerous game. She's lucky Lady Ashbury abhors violence. We'll talk later. Okay, sir. It's locked, all right. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear.
Okay, how do I end it? Get up here. Guys, and the service of the world, and the like and subscribe.